What is up, everybody? Welcome again to this live stream of a pre-recording of me hosting a previous recording myself doing a 10-minute boot camp full body workout with dumbbells. Hope you're having a great day, everybody. It is Tuesday, December 13th. We're almost at halfway, halfway point of December, and we're almost to a new year. Almost to a new year. But yes, for those of you who do not know what the 10-minute boot camp series is all about, it is a 10-minute workout designed for beginners, but essentially anyone who wants something more challenging can make it more challenging for themselves. All you gotta do is increase the amount of weight you wanna use for your dumbbells, or, or you increase the duration of time by simply looping the workout again and again and again. But yes, let's go ahead and hit up the announcements once again before we forget. Don't forget that these live streams are brought to you by the J. Ramos Works Foundation, a 501c3 nonprofit organization where we believe that improving wellness should be accessible, collaborative, and a means that works to benefit our local and global communities. We have been doing a lot of events to support various causes, and we've been collaborating with um, fellow organizations and fellow fitness instructors to support these causes, bring awareness to them, and we've done things for such such things for autism, breast cancer awareness. Um, what else did we do this year? We also did something to support refugees from Ukraine who are now in America. And we have also done something to, to support local families who are homeless in the county of, of Orange County. But yeah, through these virtual workouts that you are watching right now, our mission is to reach as many people around the world, no matter what the situation is, so that they too can work on their health and fitness. Help them minimize the risk of cardiovascular disease, because that's still a huge problem. Help them minimize the risk of cancer, but also, also just help people live their best lives through um, just paying a little, just a little attention can make a huge difference to their health and fitness. Once again, we are completely supported through donations, so you can support us through a tax-deductible donation. No such thing as a donation too great or too small as this does help out with not only the, the virtual workouts, but also help pays for the events that we set up so that people can um, come together for a cause. You can also support us by sharing our content and letting people know about what we're doing so that they too can work on their health and fitness. You can also shop online, do all three at www.jramosworks.com. You can also support us through Amazon Smile, where you shop at Amazon Gives. If you are a regular shopper on Amazon.com, then you should be also shopping on Smile. 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 On Smile.Amazon.com. It is essentially the same thing. The only difference is a portion of the sale can be donated to the charity of your choice at no extra cost to you. Check out all the details at Smile.Amazon.com. And when you do, you can select the J. Ramos Works as a foundation or charity of your choice that you wish to support. And whenever you shop on there normally, a portion of the sale will be donated. Don't forget to gear up for this class as well. Today we'll be using some dumbbells. Don't forget to get it at equipment.jramosworks.com. And of course, I think based on what I remember through this workout, it is, you can essentially make it optional, but if you want to increase the intensity, you will need some dumbbells for sure. And whenever you shop on equipment.jramosworks.com, it will also support us as well. Last but not least, we have now a new Amazon gift card giveaway, the 2023 New Year's Edition, where you can potentially win a $100 Amazon gift card prize. But of course, we do never start there. We never start there. It's the same thing every single time. We start at $25 and grow this prize by $5 every time you get 10 new subscribers on our YouTube channel. Check out all the details at giveaways.jramosworks.com. It is absolutely free to enter. Get all those entries in by January 8th. But by the way, you can get multiple entries. You can get multiple entries. If you're taking these workouts, you should be getting an additional entry every single time. Get all these entries in by January 8th and on January 9th at 6.25 p.m., five minutes before the UGM Fitness class that night, we will be deciding or we'll be raffling off this giveaway and figure out who the winner is. Check out all the details at giveaways.jramosworks.com. And yeah, those, all, those are all your announcements, guys. Those are all your announcements. How we doing? How we doing? 40 seconds in. Um, of course, just FYI, I'm still recovering from this cough. Very at the very tail end now. I should be, I should be starting to teach, um, teach soon. But I will also try to not rush the journey. I'm gonna just simply phase myself back into it. So the morning classes will still be pre-recorded recordings of myself hosting recording until I feel comfortable just managing and um, heading up that schedule once again. So yeah, those that's that's the purpose, and that's why you're seeing a pre-recorded pre-recorded recording of myself posting a previous recording of myself. I love it. I love it. Don't you? Like, I like saying that. And sometimes I just get it absolutely wrong. But anyway, it's time to bust out some workouts. <laughs> it's time to bust out some workouts. 
let's get ready to go, guys. How are we all doing? How are we all doing? Because, like, you're, you're talking to recording. You're talking to recording. I'm recording this on Monday night, December 11th. This is December 12th right now. Um, details on the giveaway. By the way, like, um, we just started once again. So, yes, just FYI, we just started. So the prize is $25 right now. We're at 2094. Are we still at 2094 by the time? I'm just I'm just recording this right now. I wonder if it changed. I'm wondering I wonder if it changed. Let me double check. Let me double check. Did it change? Did it change? No, it didn't change. All right. 2094. So we're 10 10 users away from making this a $30 Amazon gift card prize. But yes, welcome everybody to this live stream of me of a live stream of a pre-recorded recording recording of me hosting a previous recording of myself um, doing 10 minute boot camp full body workout with some dumbbells. For those of you who do not know what the boot camp series is all about, it is essentially a 10 minute workout. Because 10 minutes is better than nothing. It is also designed for beginners, but of course, you could always increase the challenge for yourself, depending on where you're at in your fitness journey. Um, for the first eight minutes before we get started on the 10-minute workout, about eight minutes in, we go through every single exercise individually, go over how to do it effectively and safely, because we want you to do these workouts uh, correctly. We see some workouts that people just go straight into workout, not actually just demonstrating the move, and... Um, you feel like that could be potentially dangerous for someone who's not used to doing the movements, especially if they haven't developed that mind-muscle connection that I like to talk about. But yeah, anyway, safety considerations. Make sure you have plenty of water in your body so you can grab that drink of water whenever you want to. Feel free to take breaks whenever you want to. At any moment you feel sudden pain, like sharp pain, stop immediately. Check yourself out. Make sure everything's okay. Consult a physician if you need to. But if you're just feeling the tension, the soreness, like the, that kind of like pain... Like, what would we call it? Like, some kind of, like, you're basically challenging yourself out physically. I wouldn't call it pain. You're just challenging yourself. So if you're feeling, your, if you're challenging yourself, then that's it. You're just challenging yourself. Make sure your space is also nice and safe for you to work in. We don't want you to hurt yourself because guess what? Hurting yourself is a setback. We don't want you to set me back. That's the other part, r other reason why we want to do the 10-minute boot camp series. It's a better way to phase you in into a fa fitness journey or fitness um, routine versus going h really hard into it really fast. Like, like the New Year's coming up, I know some people like to do New Year's resolution and they just go all in really hard, really fast, and they quit like in a week or two, maybe a month or two. But it's something that they didn't really phase in naturally for themselves. It should be a step-by-step -step process. That's something you – well, I mean, you can do it, go all in hard really fast, but the chance of you are to stick to that routine is not that high. So we'd rather go the phase-in process. All right, so phase your fitness journey in. Phase in these new routines if you haven't been doing it, so that way you can get that strength in, uh, resistance training. All right, ready to do the workout? Let's do it. 10-minute um, boot camp, full body workout coming at you at 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Take it away, Jeremy. Full body workout. So we start with those heavy comp, or what is this? Yeah, so we start off with those, uh, with the heavier movements. But... So this is a 10-minute workout, but if you, want, if you plan to loop it out again and again and again, start at the, the squat thrusters and finish the limit. So like, do this first, and then if you want to do it multiple rounds, start at the 60-second squat thrusters and finish off with the levitating crutches. And basically, basically, um, be, be before looping it, I'd say take about a 30-second break, 30-second to a minute break and start all over again. Challenge yourself that way. But yes, let's talk about what we're doing today. We got the squat thrusters, basically two compound different movements right here. We got the squat and then the, the thrust. So on the squat, essentially you're gonna have your feet wider, a little wider than shoulder width apart. You're gonna sit down in that chair. We is on the heels, chest is lifted, abs are tight. And then when you come up, you're gonna drive through those heels, pushing your body up. So that's basically the first movement, side view. Keep that chest lifted. Never want to round out your back. Keep that chest lifted and sit back down in that chair. Go as low as you feel comfortable with. Drive up the feet and boom. The second part is the shoulder press. So without, let's, I'll show with weights. Let me just start with weights. So weights, you're going to have it in a neutral position right here. And when you do that shoulder press, so like I have my elbows out to like between the 45 and 30. Uh, 35, 30, 45 to 30 or yeah, something around there, yeah. So about here. Do this comfortable. If you feel like you're putting strain on your shoulders by having it too far out, then yeah, you don't want to be there. Be somewhere comfortable, at a comfortable position. And when you push up, you start straightening out those arms a little bit more, so it's more aligned with, or with your shoulders. So push up, boom. 
That's your shoulder press. So combine those together. Go down, sit in that chair, drive up on the feet, push up, boom. Hit them shoulders right there. So you're hitting the shoulders, hitting some triceps, and when you do that squat, of course, you get glutes, uh, quads, and boom. And that is your squat thrust right there. We're doing 60 seconds. Gauge how much weight you want to use there. But yeah, nice controlled movements all the way through. Next up, our next big compound move we have are, is the front, front lunge bicep curl. So essentially what you're doing here, you're going to step out to the front lunge. Boom, go down. Try to have your, I like to go for a 90 degree angle between my knees <laughs> from, my, where my, from where my knee is. So try to get that parallel to the floor. Keep your chest lifted. But well, safety considerations, make sure your knee never goes past your toe. But if you want to go shallow, go shallow. Just do what's ever comfortable for you. But you're challenging, once again, your quad, glute, and back up. So that's the first part of the movement. Second part of the movement, we're going to add the bicep curl. So what you're going to do here is you're going to have your hands in more of a prone position. Is that prone? Supine. Supine position. Is it supine? <laughs> it's like, yeah, prone is like, okay, this is supine. All right, here we go. Make sure your elbows are pinned to your, to your body. You never want to bring your elbow up with you. You are going to, to fully isolate that bicep, so keep it down here. And then bicep curl up. Boom. Get a nice contraction in those biceps. So when you step out, lunge and up. That's it. Step out, lunge, and bicep curl. Lunge, bicep curl. There we go. 60 seconds again. Yeah, just take that time. Understand what you need to do. So, yeah, gauge yourself and see how much weight you want to use for that front lunge to bicep curl. Next up, we have the overhead tricep extension. We're going to do one arm at one time. You're going to have your, elbow, uh, your, your arm up, elbow bent. Notice that it's more into a 45 degree angle. Feel what's comfortable right here. And then you're going to simply extend. Extend that arm out, focusing on the bottom of that tricep. So you should feel it right here. Get a nice extension. Add more weight if you feel like you need to do so. We're doing 30 seconds each side. All right, so feel free if you need to change weights. To understand if you need to do it. Boom, nice controlled movements. Get, it, get that mind-muscle connection in that lower bot <laughs> the bottom of the tricep. Extend, make it tight. Extend. Make it tight. Cool. Now, with that said and done, we get a 30-second break where we get to take things down to the floor. Inchworms are so good because I think there's more. There's a, definitely a lot of variety you can use with inchworm. With weights, no weights. Add a push-up at the end, no push-up. We're working a lot here. So you're going to bend over at the hips. You're going to walk it out. Right? And it's like a little bit of a plank right here. Shoulders align with the wrist, wrist, <laughs> wrist align with the shoulders. Bring it up, and then focus on that lower back, bringing your torso back up. With the weights, if you want to like to do this, bend over, walk it out. If you like to do a push-up as well, you can do a push-up right here. Weights or no weights, you can add that push-up. Bring it up. Focus on that lower back, glutes and hamstrings, bring that upper body back right here. That's it. And when you do that too, when you bring your upper body back, try to lift your chest first so that you can have a better alignment. See that? Alignment <laughs> with your body. So walk it out again. You can also do knees, push up on your knees. Whatever you like to do. So many options here for where you want to go with it. Right there. Cool. Those are your inchworms. Next up, we have supermans. And if you like to add weights to your supermans, it's like probably just, I go very light on this because I can't, I can't, it's hard. It's hard to do with heavy weights. So this time you're in a prone position. And essentially all you're trying to do is lift the shoulders and feet off the floor at the same time, hitting everything in your posterior chain from hamstring, glutes, lower back, upper back. You can have your hands out in a T position. Boom, right there. Or hands up high, full Superman. Hey, what up, Mary Jo? Bring it up. Bring it up. If you want to use weights, you have your weights right here. Have your hands out in front of you. 
and you don't have to go too high. Just find that nice extension in the lower back, bring it up, bring it down. All right, that's it. You don't want to overextend it. You don't need much movement in there to get a nice workout in that whole posterior chain. Um, next up, we have the dumbbell fly. So from the front view, if you're looking at me from the front view, you're going to be on your back, right? You're going to have your elbows slightly bent and basically trying to bring up the dumbbells right in front of you from the sides. <sighs> Boom. So you focus on chest. Focus on a little bit of shoulders right there as well. Hey, good morning, Donna. So when you're on the floor, all right, on the floor, Focus on the chest doing most of the work right here. So squeeze that chest. Feel the tightness. Mind-muscle connection once again. Bring it up. 30 seconds right here. And then we take it into a levitating crunch. So levitating crunch. Let's move down here so you can see it. Hands above your head with the dumbbells. Focus on the upper abdominal wall. Lift your shoulders, chest off the floor. And that's it. Not, you don't have to move so much on that. Just get it up. Get your shoulders and chest off the floor. And that is it. That is your 10 minute boot camp right there. You guys ready to go? Let's get started because we got, we got exactly 10 minutes before we get ready for the next class. Cool? Cool. All right. We got turn off this, start playing some music. Let's do it. Breathe out, guys. Come on. Is it a little louder? March out. All right, inhale right here. Breathe in, breathe in. Mm. Thanks for that, everybody. Hey. Keep it going. Inhale. Woo. Exhale out. Nice. Throw your arms forward. Let's ride right here. Step out. Step and reach. Really reach out there. Extend those arms out. Now throw it up high. Hey. Hey. Nice. Step, push up right here. Step and push up. Or march and push up. That's it. Keep it going. Focus on the shoulders. Woo. That's it, guys. Keep it going. Come on. Mm. Mm. That's it, peeps. Make everything tight right here. Everything tight. Now biceps here. Biceps. Focus. Pin those elbows to the floor, or to your body. <laughs> Pin your elbows to the floor, to your body. That's it, making this tight. See, not tight, tight. Oh, I can't really see that. <laughs> it's like, so yes, tight, not tight, tight. Tight, can, can you tell? I don't know if you can tell. Not tight, tight, so make it tight. That's it, keep going, breathe. Hey, hey. All right, peeps, step out wide. Lean out side side right here. Lean right to left. That's it. Drive, drive. Now slow down, right? Slow down, for hold it down. Push up. So down, push. That's it. Really drive through your leg. Push up. Hey, keep it going, guys. to the march. All right, everybody. Great job. We got the squat thrusters coming up. Grab those weights if you like to. We're going to sit down in that squat and push up when you get up. Push those arms up. Focus on the shoulders. Hit the triceps as well. So sit and then push. Let's go. Sit and push. Sit and push. Let's go. <laughs> nice control of movements. The focus is on that mind-muscle connection. Get it, everybody. Come on.
10 seconds right here. Five, four, three. Give me one more. Give me one more. Woo! Break time, everybody. Next up, front lunge to bicep curl. Step out. Bring it down. Bicep curl. Bring it back up and switch sides. Alternate every single time. Try to avoid having that knee go past your toe. Let's do it. seconds. Finish off on the side that you didn't start with. Nice job, everybody. We got tricep extensions coming up next. Hand above your head or elbow above your head. Go for that 45 degree angle. Focus on the lower part of your tricep. Get a nice squeeze in there. 30 seconds on the clock. Let's go. Isolate. Change weights if you need to. Nice controlled movements. Woo! I felt that way. <laughs> so cool. Here we go, guys. 15 seconds. Let's go. 10. Keep it up. Come on. 5, 4, 3. Switch your size right away. Let's get it on the other side. Seconds, let's go. Five, four, three, two, one, and done. Nice job, everybody. Three second break. Get that mat ready. We got those interims coming up next. Weights, no weights, push up, no push up. You have a ton of options. Just remember, weights or no weights. Bend over at the hips, hinge at the hips, walk it out. Do a push up if you want to. You can do a push up on your knees on your feet, walk it back up, chest lifted, focus on that back, focus on the lower back, coming up, hitting that lower back, glutes and hamstrings, let's go, anything you like to, one minute, let's get it, that's it everybody, keep it going. Step there, you button. Let's do one more and just walk it out. We got Superman's coming up next. Keep it down. Strong position. All right, grab your weights or smaller weights. Options for the Superman once again. Hands to the sides. T position or up above. Shoulders and feet off the floor. Ready? Let's go. Add weights if you want to. Remember, you don't have to bring it up too high. You're hitting your shoulders, upper back, lower back, glutes, hamstrings. You got a lot in the Superman right here. 14 seconds, everybody. Let's get it. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and done. Nice job, everybody. We got, what's this, flies. 
<laughs> you got flies coming, dumbbell flies coming up. You're laying on your back. Elbows slightly bent. Focus on the chest. Lifting the weights up in front of you. Let's go. Get a nice squeeze in. Nice controlled movements. Focus on that chest. Twenty seconds right here. Let's get it. Woo! Here you go, guys. Squeeze. Five seconds. Four. Three, two, one. Nice job, everybody. Last but not least, we have your levitating crunches, weights, no weights, hands on your head, lift your shoulders and chest off the floor, focusing on hitting the upper abdominal wall. Let's get it. Three seconds on the clock. Let's work. One minute, one minute, we got one minute. Let's go, finish strong, everybody. It's like surprise, it's a whole minute. Three seconds left. minute workout and of course we want to get more in loop the video again from where we start the squat thrusters the video is already going for you the world but yeah that's it that was it that was your 10 minute boot camp right there great job everybody all right everybody great job on busting out that 10 minute boot camp right then and right there let's go ahead and get that selfie in before we forget about it today's date is the 13th all right Clovis come here come here come here come here Yay! Club is in the house. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I don't know. Should I put the hat over here? Oh, huh? yeah, yeah. Don't forget, to, don't forget to take the photo, post it on your social media, tag me in it, and if I see it and acknowledge it, that means it counted as an entry into Amazon gift card giveaway. Check your privacy settings because I know sometimes you might be set to be something else that I can't see. But other than that, if you want to be discreet about the photo as well, you can always submit it to enter.jramosworks.com. Cool. That's it, guys. That is your 10-minute boot camp. Thank you so much for joining me. We got U Jam coming at you in about five to ten minutes. Stick around for some U Jam fun. But thanks again for rocking, rocking it out. See you after the break. Peace out. Or see you after the break of a like a, another previous recording. Like my previous re previous recorded recording of myself. We'll see you on that after the break. Peace out, guys.